Arafil covering my name, Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very serious breaking news just coming out of Russia here. Pravda.ru is reporting. Uh, this was an interview with Igor uh, Korotchenko. Uh, uh, North Korea will respond U.S. nuclear strike. According to Pravda's uh, Russian news source here, it says North Korean leader has gave the order according to which 25% of North Korea's capital Pyongyang must urgently leave the capital. That is 600,000 people need to evacuate. Uh, why is this and, and is it realistic to something facing North Korea? With this questions, with these questions, Pravda.ru asked for comment on the, uh, uh, to the chief editor of the National Defense, Igor uh, Kratkinoko, uh, in the vicinity of North Korea, strives to enhance the grouping of the U.S. Navy. It includes multiple, at least one, precisely submarines, each of which can carry 154 cruise missiles, the type the Tomahawks. Now, basically what the article is saying here, to summarize everything here, that North Korea, Kim Jong-un, has ordered an evacuation of uh, roughly 600,000 people from the capital there because the, all of the submarines that the United States has in place right now, they're expecting as many as 600 cruise missiles could fall on North Korea, especially that of the capital itself. There even seems to be a hint in this article here of the possibility of a nuclear strike. When it says down here in this paragraph here, the use of North Korea's nuclear weapons, the United States a definite answer as a nuclear strike. Not really sure exactly on that. I didn't have my wife a chance to get her to, to, to really look at this on the Russian side of the language. Uh, but it does say here, will the Americans striking simultaneously completely destroy the potential of North Korea, including in terms of the media, uh, media delivery of nuclear warheads, or will not? After fighting back, and which will cause North Korea, for example, by U.S. troops, is only a nuclear attack. And then it turns on, uh, it turns into World War III. The use of nu uh, North Korea's nuclear weapons, the United States, a definite answer as a nuclear strike. Mm. So I'm not really sure there again, that could be a little bit of something being lost in the translation. Are they saying that the United States may use a nuclear strike? I don't know. So we're gonna kind of leave that one at bay there, but they definitely, clearly, uh, Kim Jong-un is expecting without doubt uh, a major assault of as, as many as 600 uh, Tomahawk cruise missiles to be fired from submarines. Also, you have the attack planes that could come in as well on his country there. So he has ordered his people to evacuate. This comes on the heels of the uh, broadcast we just released where Kim Jong-un has told the 200 foreign journalists that are visiting to expect uh, so, uh, a big day tomorrow on the 105th anniversary uh, called the Day of the Sun for the uh, for the North Korean Peninsula there. So we don't know, don't know exactly what is going on, but it seems like North Korea is really anticipating, maybe from their own intelligence there, that the United States may be getting ready to strike with the Tomahawk cruise missiles. I'm Stephen Benoon. We'll try to keep you updated as much as we can. This has already aired uh, kind of a little bit choppy there, but we've already aired our, aired our first group on this on Periscope. So if you don't follow us on Twitter, be sure to join in with us on Twitter. We'll be breaking more stories there as well. Some of these live as they're breaking so that we can keep you up to date. If you'd like to support the work that we do here, please do so. Look right there above the subscribe button on YouTube here. We have a little place there you can click and donate as well or our, uh, our channel. Uh, excuse me, our, our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. I'm Stephen Benin, here at Israeli News Live.